So today is going to be a short one because, honestly, there isn't a whole lot to say about Fear the Walking Dead. It constantly keeps killing off characters with plenty of story left to tell. Every mid-season finale and finale ends in the same way. And they are grasping at straws as they're trying to keep the show afloat by trying to infuse it with the popular blood of more popular characters. It's that last bit, though, that has me curious. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to One True Theory, the only theory show that wants to tackle the honest to god train wreck that is Fear the Walking Dead. Now Fear the Walking Dead wasn't always doomed. The show had potential to be something really interesting, and it was, until about the end of season 2, but they just kept rehashing plot lines and killing off characters and it all just got to be a bit stale by the time season 4 rolled around. That was until they introduced Morgan in Fear the Walking Dead, which, granted, ended up making season 4 the least clean, hardest to follow season to date. Why would she be a cowboy? But this also opens the door for a very ambitious crossover. Allow me to explain. Fear the Walking Dead has been all over the place. It has no real direction, it's been dealing with floundering ratings, and it's just not quite as popular as the original series, which isn't unrealistic considering it's a spin-off. So the most likely explanation is that they just put Morgan in Fear the Walking Dead in order to try to boost ratings. But I believe there's actually a much more in-depth strategy going on, and one that has a lot of understanding of the comics coming into play. Morgan is significant because he is currently the connecting thread between the Fear the Walking Dead cast and the main cast back in Alexandria. So my thoughts are this. I think by the end of Season 4, if not by the mid-season during Season 5, the Fear the Walking Dead cast is actually going to fully cross over and become part of the OG original Walking Dead crew. This sounds crazy, but this is honestly the only real direction that Fear the Walking Dead has left. They could keep finding and destroying every single shelter that they find for a few more seasons, but I don't think they'll make it that long if they stick to that strategy, and honestly, it could fit seamlessly. Basically, this is how it will go. Morgan will tell Alicia and company that there is a safe place that they can go to now since they have nowhere else to go, and he is going to mention Alexandria and Rick Grimes. Morgan will elect to take them there, but along the way he will finally meet his end because he will have repented by saving Alicia and company. Alicia and company will then make their way to Alexandria and either off screen or off screen and arrive at Alexandria during the mid-season finale for the main series. This would make a lot of sense because the walk from where the feared cast is to where the main cast is going to be a long walk. If you walk to non-stop for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in the straightest line possible, it would only take you about 19 days. But when you consider other factors like traveling in a group, avoiding traveling by night, having to spend days scavenging, getting lost, and getting caught up in other veritable misadventures, the timing starts to add up. All of this allocated time gives the main series the chance to go through a time skip as it's supposed to do at the end of the All Out War arc. This being the arc that just concluded in the main series. And not only is that viable, but the Fear of the Walking Dead also has another opportunity to fill in a necessary role in the main series. In the comics, in the first few issues after the war with Negan, we are briefly following a ragtag group of survivors who happen across Alexandria. They were a group that had been traveling for a while, had seen a lot of hardship, and are being led by a young woman in her 20s, give or take. This right here sounds exactly like our current Fear the Walking Dead cast. And if we wanted to take this from a much more realistic standpoint, the idea of the Fear the Walking Dead cast joining the main cast also makes sense in a very real, monetary perspective. From a production perspective, running two big budget shows across the country from each other is difficult, costly, and especially so when one of them isn't pulling their weight as it needs to. So, by bringing the cast together under one roof, you would slice production costs significantly, while at the same time possibly boosting your main series in the process. This right here is the ultimate gambit, with almost no losing sides, and if this isn't the fate of Fear the Walking Dead, and by association The Walking Dead, then I don't know if there's any other real hope or purpose for Fear the Walking Dead. But those are just my thoughts. So in the meantime, Remember, every video is a party, and you're all invited to the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. 
Hey, be sure to give this video a like and let me know what you thought of this theory in the comments below. And subscribe to Party God Douglas Productions for more quality content. Hope to see you all in the next video.